Hello and welcome. This is a Make Market Launch It update. My name is Mike Koenigs and Pam Hendrickson. And we've got some great, great stuff for you today. One of them is it's been a little while since we've been in touch with you and wanted to give you a video and talk to you a little bit about some things that have been working really, really well in our business. Pam has been working on some really, really cool stuff. I got a couple nuggets that I'd like to share with you as well. And again, our goal is to connect with you and maybe answer a few questions that either you haven't even thought of asking us yet or that I think you need to be thinking about as we move forward in this new year when it comes to creating content that's going to get underneath your audience and connect with people and build deeper and bigger relationships. Perfect. So what I wanted to share and what we're really about is we've been asking the questions. We've been working on our businesses both individually and together a little bit differently of late and it's been really working well so far and what it's doing is you know in the past we've, we've been, had a lot of great things but some less consistency. Our businesses have been more up and down just in terms of everything in terms of revenue, in terms of engagement. You know, Traffic it's just, and leads. It's yeah. always the struggle every business and, owner And has. so what we've really done is worked on our business more than in our business and implemented some new things that are evening out all of it, which, which is awesome, which I think is the goal of every business owner. You know, you want to keep elevating what you're doing, but consistency is king. Bottom line, multiple streams of income and a consistent flow of new leads of engaged prospects that can become excited customers that implement and get results. Yeah. So the light bulb went off for me recently, which, it, which is kind of silly because it's something I've known forever, but I, I haven't been doing. And it's around content, and it's the concept of the one thing. And my original product creation mentor, I worked with him at Tony Robbins, he was one of the co-founders of Ugg Boots. He used to always make us have to come up with the one thing. What's your one thing for the day? What's the one thing for the team? What's your one thing for this month, for this product, whatever it was? Yeah. And the same is true of content. And that's what's been working really well. And maybe you're familiar with the concept of micro content, but I wanted to break it down because, because I think it's so easy when, you, when it comes to somebody else's business, we can always see it, but with our own business, it's harder. And so there's three mistakes we see when it comes to content for people. Number one is they have too much content. That's the biggest mistake. Guilty? Yep, Guilty absolutely. at times. Overproduce. Overproduce. It's the biggest mistake, and it's good intent, but it doesn't work as well. The second mistake people make is the not enough content. But I'm going to talk about what that means. What I mean when I say not enough content isn't quantity, it isn't volume. It means it's not enough of the right content. It's what we like to call big hat, no cattle, or mm -hmm. where's the beef? You know, where's yeah. that one thing? Being one substantive. Th being substantive. Yeah. And then the third mistake people make is the content's good, it's the right amount or the right nugget, but it's not presented well. It's it's you know not not organized it's not step by step and it's not actionable so with that in mind let's break it down to the micro content concept and and the idea here is you want to give one thing but it's got to be the right thing at the right time mm -hmm. and so let's say I was an expert bicycle racer which which I'm not like to ride bikes but would not because you know a weekend warrior for sure but let's say I have a product that I have on how to really become an expert and do bicycle races or do you know you know, what is it, triathlons or whatever it is where mm -hmm. they do the bike racing. Mm -hmm. So the mistake a lot of people make is what do most people do when they put out their initial free opt-in lead magnet type content? Well, I'm going to give an ebook about how to be a great bicycle racer. That's exactly the opposite of what tends to work. What you want to do, what's the first thing someone needs to do when they're going to become an extra expert bicycle racer? What's the very first thing? Man, well, I actually the very first thing is they have to decide they're gonna become it. I mean, it's just making a decision. <laughs> yeah, right? and, and that might even be the first thing. I was that I was, was even going question. one step ahead. It was okay. one of the trick question, but but it's a trick question because I think we it's we're not trained to think this way, and I think the mm -hmm. magic is when we can think this way. So, so I actually answer? think that's better. Well, I was gonna say it's they gotta pick out a bike. Like you gotta have a good okay. bike. So th you know, three things you're looking for in yeah, a bike. Yeah, I was thinking commit first. But commit and then is even equipment, better. Equipment, and then what? Do, how do I have to get in shape? And like, what should I wear? What's gonna read? read Chafing, what's going to increase safety? I don't like want to die doing it. Like that you went the it. chafing direction. That was, you yeah. know, well, food, <laughs> diet. You yeah. know, I yeah. can't chafing. help it. You know, who wants an uncomfortable rear end when yeah. you're riding? You know, I got a new bike recently, and it's like. I had to I had to get conditioned in the saddle, which yeah. is a different seat. Literally, definitely rides Literally. differently. Yeah. Literally, so so and we all know the, the concept. If you go back to our mutual friend Evan Pagan, is the concept of he used to use it in the dating world, right? Mm -hmm. So and in his market, what he figured out was what are the things all guys want? They want a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. But if he went out there and he started doing well, Facebook know, ads no. and, <laughs> and blog posts and that that comes later, Mike. That, that we, we won't go down that that rabbit hole about. right now. Um, um, and there's 
there's there's no thing here. It's just Mike and I having fun. But uh, uh, you know, so rather than come out with like an ebook or you know, he can't do Facebook ads or like a blog post on how to get in a relationship. First of all, guys aren't going to respond to that, and it's too big of a piece. So what did he do? He broke it down to the most simple thing. What's the first thing a guy needs to know how to do? Approach ask a, a woman. girl out. Yeah, approach, approach and then approach ask a woman. Yeah. So he built a very very successful business in that niche, starting out with the micro content of how do you approach a girl. Mm -hmm. What do you say? What do you do? What do you dress like? What do you look like? And then the very next thing was, you know, how do you have that conversation with the girl? Mm -hmm. How do you, you know, have the date with the girl? How do you know if a girl wants to be kissed or not? Yeah. And broke it down into these really micro bites. And for me, it's been working so well because I, I, you know, I'm the here's here's 12 steps in an ebook, and and that's appropriate when people are more further down the path with you. Mm -hmm. You know, when they're more engaged with you, then you can go deeper and give them the deeper training, the deeper pieces. But up front, it's the one thing. What's the promise? What's the problem you're trying to solve? And then what's that very, very, very first thing that you need to help them do that's going to engage them? And actually, it makes your life a lot easier. Mm -hmm. You know, to talk about one thing and to break it down, and then you know, the next communication mm -hmm. is the next thing makes it easier for you, but it also makes it easier for them and makes them successful. So that's my tip, the one thing. Okay. Well, I was thinking about um, my tip, and I actually changed my mind from the time <laughs> we started this because. Uh, yours was so profound that I wanted to share something that I also found profound, which is getting back to your roots. Mm -hmm. And uh, what this is, so I'll give you an example of something that's worked for me. And part of it came from a little tip, it's a, it's a little nugget. I recently reread and got connected with The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. And by rereading it and re-listening to it, it not only helped me become significantly more productive, I measurably increased my productivity by four times because I got clear, and I actually carry this with me. This is part of the strangest secret exercise, is I wrote down my one mm. thing, which is to serve 5,000 new customers. And um, that has caused me to look at everything through this lens, which is, Every piece of content I'm creating right now, I'm asking, will this serve a new customer? Will it support them? Will it help them engage and get results faster? And if it doesn't, I stop doing it. And this is my rule card That's right great. now for everything that I've been doing. And that one thing helped me create a substantial amount of content. Of course, we just came off of our live event. I produced five significant new presentations in uh, l less than a week, as well as a lot of video content. But here's Here's the kicker. It also forced me to get back to my roots, okay? And when I say that, or roots, depending on how you say the word, roots, roots. or roots. Do you say that tomato, in Minnesota? Tomato, tomato. Is that in roots. Minnesota? We say roots, roots. In, in Minnesota. So what happened uh, for me is I realized that I wanted to refocus my energy on the next generation of traffic guys. Here. And when I started looking at some of my old presentations, I realized how incredibly effective they were. And I went back. And I started rebuilding. And so the lesson here, the big lesson is, if you just step back and you say, who are your most valuable customers? And what do they know you for? And what do they want more of? And by doing that, if all you did is focused on those two things, what are you known for? And what do your best customers want more of? And you gave them that, I believe you can multiply your income and your revenue by 20 to 100% in a short period of time by creating engaging content revolving around how to accomplish that. And I, that's a, exactly I what happened. I love that because I think so often when you build your business, especially when you're starting out, we forget what we're great at. And new, we forget new, new, what new, we're new, known new, for. And yeah. we go to new, new, new. And we're gonna, I think you have a, a little new shiny thing that you're yeah, going to talk about speaking to new. We'll, get, we'll yep. get there in a moment. But it's, I think it's so important because we forget it's that, that one thing mm -hmm. that we're known for, that we're great at, that we're best at. And, and you can be. You are the best in the world at X. Mm -hmm. So whatever that X is, getting back to those roots, I think, is really powerful. Yeah. No. And so, uh, so the two things, I think what we can do is just provide a little link to the strangest secret which is a little thing that I made for you. It's a little audio thing. Is that all right? That's awesome. Okay. It's fantastic. And that'll get you, because it's faster than actually anyway. watching the original. Oh, OK, great. <laughs> so that's one little nugget. And hopefully, you'll find your one thing to remind yourself. So really, after you go through the 20-minute exercise, write down your one thing, put it on a business card on the back of it. That's what I did, because it fits in your wallet or your purse. And look at it a minimum of five times a day. As soon as you wake up, before you go to bed, and in between as often as possible, it will help you keep stay focused. And there's a very specific strategy on the how inside the video. 
Perfect. Okay. So speaking of focus, yep. you like yeah. that transition there? Yeah, Mike nice. has a mini, a new gadget, a, new gadget, a mini, right. mini camera, which is and very cute. Yes, and this isn't, so lately I've been telling everyone, look, your mobile phone is a perfect television studio in your pocket. Okay, uh, an iPhone, especially the latest generation, the 5S, the latest Android phones have incredible optics. They shoot great video, and they're appropriate for creating fantastic content that you can use to market and educate and entertain. And little and social media clips, little little nuggets that you're putting out totally. to, to all tell the story of the one thing, right? Yep. But there are certain instances where this isn't just right. And enter something called the GoPro. It's the Hero 3 Plus, the Black Edition, which is their high-end camera. It costs about $400. You can see how unbelievably tiny it is here. But what's cool about it is it produces, right now I'm shooting a little bit of content, and um, the content looks great. We can actually zoom to the screen here. I have a little clip, and this is something I shot with Pam a couple moments ago. What is uh, cool about this little camera is not only does it shoot unbelievably great quality video, um, it comes with a waterproof mount, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can basically put it, they've got like a something you can put on your chest. They've got headbands. You see it for people, skiers or bicyclists totally. or whatnot, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's in the in the sports world, <laughs> everyone has these. They put them on skateboards and they're practically indestructible in their little cases. But they also shoot super wide angle, so you can set it in your car and you can make video uh, movies. And in fact, the uh, Jerry Seinfeld show Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, all shot with GoPros Isn't in the car. No fantastic. kidding. So I love this thing. If you want something that's super portable, super easy to use, and shoots really amazing quality video, this little critter is tops. And they've got lower end versions as well that vary in terms of quality. But one of the reasons I like this is it has Wi-Fi built in. You can connect to it and control it from your iPhone. And you can start and stop it or even control the settings. So you literally uh, could set up one or two of them if you wanted, press the start button, start recording, do your little mini show, and boom, you've got yourself and it's fantastic awesome. Put quality. it in your so. purse, put it in your pocket, and you can record those little mini, mini nuggets of content. Because yeah. I do think also, speaking of connecting with your customers, mm -hmm. it's when you can take them with you into different places, different locations, and different things that you're doing, it's, it's powerful. Yeah, it really is. So that's just a little how-to nugget, and uh, l really love it. I'm going to be shooting a lot of content with my hero inside my car very, very soon. But in the meantime, again, if you've got an iPhone or you've got an Android, great. Really good device for making fantastic content. But if you want to step it up a notch and make even better quality content, especially in confined places because it's got the wide angle lens, this thing is incredible. And the built in audio isn't that bad. It's actually pretty surprising. It's surprisingly good. So that's my little tip for you. Perfect. That's it. That's All what right. we have. So, Scott, I think that's that's what we have to share. We implement, do have implement, 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 implement. What's your one thing that you're going to think about? That's your focus. And then, what's the one thing in each communication that you're doing with your customer? Break it down to the ridiculous. And, and uh, also, make sure that you get enrolled in our live event. We have a live event coming up, yes. so we'd love to see you there. We have lots of tips, big and small, that we'll be sharing there and dive oh, yeah. a little deeper in your business, your marketing, and your product creation. We're so. going to go deep. We're going to actually be showing you what's working best in our business what's responsible for getting the most leads and generating the most money and we have definitely had some big breakthroughs this year that we're going to be sharing with you live at that event can't wait to see so we'll there. put the link on for that event as well at the bottom of this video so all right that's it thanks bye see you later. thanks for watching